reveals more than we think. We're supposed to be raised on telepathy. We still have telepathic powers and this in part is the reason for intuition and feeling other people's energies. Language has been an attempt to cut off this connection. Every word we say is a magic spell. So spelling, spell casting, has been specifically used to denigrate our divine selves. We are born into this world. Born comes from the English word barren. Today's definition of barren is unfruitful, bleak, and lifeless. Our children, as designated by our language, aren't even ours. Parents are a pair who rents. Our governments, especially our courts, don't treat a parent's right to control and direct the upbringing of their child as a fundamental liberty. We're forced from a young age through many types of indoctrination and our parents are helping in this process. Look at the word childhood. A hood is used to cloak and hide. The etymology of children is chill and dren. Chill means cold. Dren is a name meaning a strong and healthy individual. So children are strong individuals who must be chilled, made cold. Stay with me, this will all come together. In Ballantine's 1948 Law Dictionary, the term human being says sea monster. When we see monster, we get the definition a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. In the Oxford New English Dictionary of 1901, a human is defined as belonging or relative to man, as distinguished from God or superhuman beings. So these definitions are telling us we're monsters and have no inherent divine qualities. The word live backwards is evil. Our language is telling us we're born as monsters who are bleak and lifeless to a pair who rents us out to the government and other corporations that indoctrinate us. Our childhood is spent under a cloak so our divinity will be hidden from us and we're evil when we live. Our sentences are made up of words. The word sisters in Greek mythology were fates or witches who controlled the fates of man. Every word we say directly affects our reality and ultimately our fate. The Egyptian deity Thoth is said to have invented language and writing. The original purpose was to use words for magic. The words right and right are pronounced the same. A rite is a ceremony or ritual. Whenever we're writing with words or speak, we are initiating a ritual. Books contain chapters. A chapter often refers to a sect of a secret society or religious order. To page someone is to summon them. Pages in books made of words are summoning things to enslave or imprison our souls. The word grammar comes from the French word grammaire or grimoire. Grimoires were ancient magic books which contained instructions to summon demons. I want to mention sounds affect everything around us. The study of cymatics is the study of sound vibration on matter and it has been demonstrated that vibrations and frequencies create geometric patterns in sand and other mediums. We wake up each morning. A wake is a funeral party held for the dead. At the beginning of each day, we say to each other, good morning. Morning is what you do when you're sad for the loss of someone or something. We begin each day reveling in the morning of our divine nature which has been stripped from us by calling it a good morning. It's pretty masochistic if you ask me. We then go to work at our occupation. When we occupy something, it can mean being occupied by a military force, like in war. Many occupations are focused on money and the dog-eat-dog -dog mentality. The dollar bill comes first before the environment or even each other. Therefore, we are committing war against each other and Mother Earth during each day we work our occupation. We are the military occupiers. An urn is for the ashes of the dead. For the average 9 to 5 worker, it would have to be one of the weekdays in order to earn a living. I agree, you would have to be in a week days to earn a living. During the week, we become weaker and weaker until finally it's the weekend and we have become weakened. Somebody or something who is weakened has no power. And during the weekend, many of us turn to drink alcohol. Alcohol comes from the Arabic word al kul which is a body-eating spirit. It's also the source of the word ghoul. We drink booze or booze. Booze are synonymous with spirits who scare you, but what can you expect when you're drinking spirits? Alcohol has always been a medium for entities to flow through and the effects in part demonstrate this. 